If there was any video game that would have translated well into a movie, I would have thought that it would have been Uncharted. I played every game pretty much, and it's the absolute closest you can get to a cinematic blockbuster action movie. Or well, at least that's most true with the fourth game. When they announced this movie, I was like 11 years old. This movie was announced since 2010. Now that's a long amount of time. That, that is quite the amount of time. For what? For what? This? <laughs> For this? The Uncharted movie just shows that no matter the budget, or the actors, or anything, video game movies just don't come easy. Life has had a terrible amount of video game movies over the years to come, some passable and some just ugly and disgusting, and this one falls in the almost passable category. It's definitely competent, but god is it messy. First, let me talk about the good things. Tom Holland, he's alright. He's not Nathan Drake, but he's still a likable guy. There's color, there's a lot of color, you know, the water looks pretty at the end. And I like that. I like that it's not an ugly video game movie, you know, because a lot of them just lack any color whatsoever. I also like the PlayStation logo at the beginning. Uh, that, that, that's actually it. Now, even though I was excited for this movie for a very long time, I was scared when they announced the director. He's the director of this, and, uh, and this, and, uh, and this. His only good movie was the first Zombieland, which isn't a vibe I think fits well with a treasure hunting puzzle story like Uncharted, and, well, that ended up being true. And then I saw Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch and Tom Holland announced, and I was like, oh, oh, th this, there's just no hope anymore, is there? I like both of these actors, I do, but I knew immediately that even even just looking like the characters was not gonna happen as well. Mark Wahlberg isn't gonna have gray hair, and Tom Holland still got a baby face. But both of them are fine in the movie. They're okay, but they are the characters simply by name alone. The fact that their names are Sully and Nathan are the only reason that they are Sully and Nathan. If you change their names, they don't resemble the characters at all. Not in motivation, story, personality, or charisma. You could change the name of anything in this movie, and it would have no identity to being like Uncharted in any way. It's kind of insane. The thing I was most excited to see in this movie was the action, the set pieces, because that's the best thing from Uncharted. The over-the-top insane set moments, the jaw-dropping memories. Oh my god, I've had so many playing the series. It's amazing. Nathan Drake and the cruise ship, wow. Nathan Drake in some crazy deadly giant puzzle room, wow. Nathan Drake with a girlfriend, wow. Now that's insane, and this movie kinda has it. I don't know, not really, it's, it's weird. The last quarter of the movie is the best, but the lead up to it just feels so unimportant. The only cool set piece is the ending of the movie, and even that just feels kinda wasted. Uncharted is like national treasure with puzzles that are just too insane and cool. And the movie doesn't really have that many puzzles. It has like one direct interactable puzzle that all the characters try to solve together, and that's it. The entire puzzle solved and coolness of the games, that's just not here. The movie is just a reminder of how video game movies are still a long way until they actually get good. Uncharted undoubtedly has the perfect blueprint and baseline for a movie series, and even it wasn't able to work. Instead, the whole movie just feels so dry and bland and devoid of life. The characters of Nathan Drake and Sully barely know each other in the movie. They have drama between them and holy crap is it forced. Obviously in the movie, this is the first time these characters meet, and they barely bond or get to know each other or anything and yet at times it will try to act like they started a growing friendship at one point tom holland is like we're done and i was like huh you guys didn't even start but this isn't even tom holland or mark or marky mark's fault though like i said they're both fine tom holland carries the movie and he's a fantastic actor but the writers give him absolutely no chance to be an actual character and no matter how hard tom would even want to be nathan drake he doesn't get the opportunity to do anything like him to become him except punch a couple guys that's the only nathan drake thing he does is punch people that's it he has the funny comedy action thing like swinging bottles and stuff but he doesn't climb he doesn't shoot a gun he shoots like one bullet at the very end it doesn't even hit anybody he has quips but they're very awkwardly timed and very bad he just doesn't get a chance to shine at all in this movie the story here is just god awful they use set pieces from the games like the plane sequence and the cave pirate sequence and the auction house fight sequence but it just feels so weird the way they move through the settings feels like someone played the entirety of the games in one day and had a dream about all the set pieces and then whatever stuck out to them they just threw 
win a movie randomly. Not to mention characters from the games being included or excluded for no reason. Elena, Nathan Drake's other half, throughout the whole series doesn't exist at all. And Chloe really doesn't replace her at all. Chloe just kind of sucks in this. She literally shows up and disappears multiple times whenever the movie doesn't even want to include her in anything. She's not even part of the ending sequence and pops up when all the action is over in the most awkward way. Her inclusion is so, so bad, I just, I can't believe it. Also, they include Sam from the fourth game, Nate's brother, but they don't actually include him. They have the entire intro of the fourth game in the orphanage when they're young, and that's the last you see of Sam, but he is mentioned obsessively throughout the movie. Nate's entire driving force is to find Sam and everything, even though you never see him again. Sam is this massive driving force for Nate to pursue his quest in general because he gets like notes and letters from Sam, but why? Why, why, why? It's so lame. Sam is not in the movie at all. He's not in any part of the movie and he has no connection to anything. It's just so weird why he's the driving force. Why is he always being mentioned? It, it just, it has no effect on anything. So why is Sam even a part of the movie? Having him be heavily mentioned and used like every 10 minutes is so weird and just to not even show him at all or have him be a part of the actual movie. They just didn't want to write Sam as an actual character because that would have been too hard to include with the characters they already have. Also, I want to talk about the main villain, played by Antonio Banderas. He's not good. Antonio Banderas, I love. He's a great actor. He's great in so many things. But wow, he uh, he, he was not good here. He, he felt like he was drunk in every single line. It was freaking me out. Not to mention, his only screen time, his only appearance, is repeating dialogue. That is the only thing he does in this movie. Over and over again, the dialogue he is given is just talking about wealth from his dad. He says nothing different, and you watch this movie and tell me if he says anything different, but all he talks about is how he wants his money from his dad. That's it. I'm not joking. He says nothing different in this movie, and he's on screen four times, and that's it. And then, spoiler alert, spoiler if you actually even care, he's killed. And there's another villain who was his henchman that becomes the main villain. It's very lame. But when he's killed, oh my god. God, when he's killed, she slits his throat. And it's a PG-13 movie. I'm not expecting blood or anything, but it cuts. And then it cuts back four times and zooms in on his slit throat. And it looks like someone drew red crayon on his neck. Why did you cut back? Why did you cut back to his throat? You just didn't have to. Like, I I, I, like, I believed he was dead, but then every time you cut back, I, why did you cut back and show me it so many times? Just, just keep it away. It's just so funny. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get why this movie fails so much in so many ways. I could go on and on about just the tiny little flaws that this movie has just that keep it from being competent. It's been in the work for so long and it's just so sad to see that this is the result. I still am excited for the future of video game movies like Ghost of Tsushima because the director behind it has me very very hopeful. I just hope that it stays the same director and nothing really gets changed because of how bad this movie is. I'm also excited for The Last of Us show because it seems like there's a lot of heart there behind it. But this, the Uncharted movie, it just sucks. It's so bland and lame and depressing. And walking out of the theater, I just felt very, very sad. Uncharted? More like... I sharded. Yeah.